Mama de Mama. Make you good and if I know I for that for not end, it's not say it's a time don't they open. I mean, I did one time. If I if I know say Mama they come, I for not end this thing. Where would they? Where would what end that one? This one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mama, make a trust more. You have every right to be annoyed. You have every right to be upset. We are all upset. The country has all the potentials for being a very great nation, and it was a great, it's a great nation. This country has helped South Korea to pay salary. Malaysia is thriving today. But Malaysia once came here to take our palm oil in 20, 2020, 2021. Malaysia, despite having a population of less than 50 million, living on about 290 something thousand square kilometers of land or about 300 call it 300,000 square kilometers of land did export about about 290 million dollars billion dollars when our own was just about 30 so we're using 10% of what they did. That's why I said the country is unproductive. It's unproductive because over the years, the country has become a case where criminals have taken over. And all they do is to steal whatever it is. And they're stealing it to today. That's why I've shouted that those who are stealing our oil are people in government. Those who are stealing our commonwealth are people in government. And that's why we want to stop subsidies, stop everything, and deal with it. I've said we're a failed country because we are not invested in education and everything. What I want to do, and I want Nigerians to trust me, is to stop the stealing. And that's why I give an example. This is Anambra State. Nobody since this campaign started, I've challenged anybody to go to Anambra State where I served as a governor and see whether their money is missing. I've been the only governor who have served a state in Nigeria apart from Yeradua I left about 5 billion naira. I left 75 equivalent of 75 billion. Even if anybody wants to doubt I left in cash. 150 million dollars which you know the equivalent of what it is today at 600 naira that is 90 billion and he had you some trust and at the same time i left in naira over 30 billion and nobody put a gun in my head every other person who left office the time i left had gratuity or pension when they brought it for me to sign it is on record but i told my speaker i served the people of anambra state by the grace of god it was it wasn't my power that i came there i came by his grace whatever i am today it is by grace of god not by my power and i will never abuse god's grace and i'm going home and I can say it to anybody, Anambra State Government has not bought me a bottle of water since I left office nine years ago. It's there. Nobody has paid me one couple. Every other place, they change their motor, they do anything. So that's what I want to start. I never said I support the thiefing. That's what I want to stop. And I'll stop it. What I said is that if you're not stealing, your wife and children are not stealing. Those around you are not stealing. You stop it. I served the bank. You can go and ask the bank. I have never defaulted in any loan. 
I have never taken their money. I was a director, chairman of Security and Exchange Commission. It's a federal government agency. You can go there and ask them every allowance, everything they paid me, whether it's housing, anything, motor, everything, I did not take it. They're here in Abuja. You can go to them. So I've remained that consistent. And I don't intend to change from it. It's even more critical now. I didn't say I will not probe or jail those who have stolen money. No. What I say and I stand by it. If you close your shop and chasing thieves, by the time you come back, you would have lost what is remaining in the shop because they will expire and you will lose customer. I'm a trader. Your shop has to be open and you're getting more customers. And you make sure that you're selling the existing goods and don't spend more time in chasing thieves. Because whatever a thief is stolen, some of it they have spent, there's a likelihood you will not recover everything. I'll be very careful. What I want to stop is stop people from stealing any longer. Look at the government that came in and said they want to chase thieves. People stole more. I want to stop people from stealing any longer and then focus on tomorrow. No matter what you think Nigeria have lost, there's more that you can get from tomorrow. I'm a believer in tomorrow. Those who are consumed by yesterday and today will miss tomorrow. Tomorrow is the only dynamic thing. I want to change Nigeria by doing the right thing. Imagine if the present government have drawn the line, like I always say, and use the resources, including the borrowed resources, to invest in the future. It would have been far better, better. In 2015, we were owing about 15 trillion. Our per capita is about 2,550. Today, we are owing 75 trillion. Our per capita is 2,000. I would have doubled that by focusing on tomorrow. I want to fix education, I want to fix health, and that is why I said I'm not going to be consumed by tomorrow. So don't close your shop and be chasing thieves. Look at it tomorrow. God did not give us eyes to look back. He gave us eyes to look front. Everything I've learned in my life, whether to drive or to bicycle, they'll tell you, look forward. I've always looked forward. I don't look back. No matter what happens in the back. As for the person I said is my mentor, it's not a problem. Atiku remains a respected senior brother for the rest of my life. Even if my senior brother has his own fault or anything, he remains my senior brother. I always respect him because God allowed him to be my senior brother. And I respect that. What I said is that in this business of big politics, that I passed through his team. If you are apprentice in what we call Igbo type of trading, you learn from too many people who have grouped you up. And when all of them goes, they settle you. You start the same trade and everything. You might not necessarily sell the way they are selling their own. You might be selling different things. You know? So that is where they go. I passed through his hand. I learned things from him. I respect him. I have so many things. And he will remain so. There's one other one or two other people who I passed through their hand. I learned what they are doing. All combined, I'm selling my own, in my own style. I don't question how they're selling their own. But I, I remain respectful of their own listing. We're all looking for customer. It depends on who the customer wants to buy. If you want to buy a billion, 
Here I am to sell it to you. If you want to buy a ticket, sell it to you. If you want to buy a mirror cup, sell it to you. So we have our product with their names clearly spelled. Whichever one you want to buy, it's it. <laughs>